we will start with chapter 1 tissue and in this chapter first we will do the plant tissues plant tissues they are broad they are basically categorized into two types what are the two types meristematic tissue and the permanent tissue now these two types are based on the stages of development and their function first we will start with the meristematic tissue you can see in figure 1.1 now there are certain characteristics of the cells which form the meristematic tissue generally the cells of the meristematic tissues are small and usually cubical in shape you can see the shape they have thin cell walls they are tightly packed and there are no intercellular spaces in between the cells cytoplasm is dense with a large prominent nuclei they either have small vacuoles or no vacuoles at all now this meristematic tissue on the basis of the position in the plants they are divided into three types you can see the three types apical meristem located at the apex or tips of the root intercalary meristem located at the base of the nodes where leaves are attached and the region of internodes where the cell division occurs for a longer time you can see the internode you know what is the node and what is an internode internode is a distance between the two nodes then you have got the lateral meristem found along the lateral sides of the stems and the roots generally these are responsible for the increase in their circumference now in the next class we will be doing with the permanent tissue till then you revise this part and wait for the questions which will arise in your homework column thank you children have a nice day